We're selling our 1985 Highlander Freeport 38C, hall number 17 of 21 or 22. Nobody's real sure. I'm uh, just going to go through starting on the fore deck, work our way back, and then go through the inside to tell you a little bit about the boat and a lot about the upgrades. Starting all the way up in the water is 120 feet of chain with 200 feet of rope tied to the end of it, plus we have a spare 200 feet. Uh, we have a Manson boss, way oversized, and then we have a Delta Plow as a secondary anchor. We also have a Fortress, I believe it's a 37, brand new in the bag, still wrapped up, never been used. So lots of good ground tackle. Uh, we just replaced the Forestay with 516 oversized, and the Furler with the Pro Furl 350. We have brand new four months old precision drive radial seven ounce 130 headsail and there it's, it's a little long for this boat so precision is uh, sending us a, another new sail that will be here when we return from the bahamas the sheets are approximately three years old um, all of the halyards have just been replaced they are the spinnaker halyard, the jib halyard, and the main halyard. All high quality, low stretch. Um, on the deck we have Lumar hatches that are only a couple of years old. Custom covers, of course, our uh, whisker pole. Windless Lumar. Lumar windless to go with the chain. Uh, we have a wash down pump, obviously extra road, bridles. Pendants for mooring, all this is, is extra chain either for the extra anchor or for the dinghy if you absolutely don't want the dinghy to move plus the bridle. We've added insulation around the chain locker to keep it from leaking. Most of them get water in them, everything in here gets wet. This one does excellent. We have a power inlet in the front and in the back, so if you're backing into a slip or you're nosing in, it's convenient to hook up. We have your city water inlet up here if you want to use that. Switches on deck for the windlass. Also, there is a remote control and there is a switch in the anchor locker uh, if you need a third for a backup. Uh, new purling line. Stay had been replaced. The rigging was just tuned. I think that's it on the board. Deck. All five of the hatches, like I said, had just been replaced. We have six Bomar stainless port lights with glass and screens. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, uh, with switches on each side of the mast for your main halyard for reefing. Uh, custom sail cover on this one. Uh, done by a friend. Excellent, excellent job. Have the track for the uh, whisker pole uh, along with the sliding clock. Uh, this is the main cell is a few years old, but it is still super crispy. Still got a lot of life back left in it. We've left that on zip to show you the, the new halyards and the new cleats. Uh, we just installed the spin lock cleats before this trip. They are brand new. This is one of the new halyards here. This is the spinner halyard new windows on the side the back two slide open we have been through some seriously heavy weather in this boat super comfortable never felt unsafe and the back windows the guy that built them swore they would never leak and they never have this is the chimney it's a dual flume chimney for the propane fireplace so you don't have to worry about ventilating the boat uh, it pulls fresh air through the middle or on the outside and then exhausts through the middle we'll show you that when we get inside we have 500 watts of solar which is way, way more than you'll need on a good sunny day. The Garhauer rigid boom bang was just added four months ago, right before this trip. Great, great upgrade. We have it pulled up one side. See, we're forgetting last time I looked about 14 amps of solar on a very cloudy day. Main halyard, run aft, uh, main sheet, run aft. Uh, Jiffy reefing in boom. Uh, the only thing you have to come up here to do is, is to reef the main to, to hook it and to pull the reef line. This panel is just, just bungee down. We had 40 knot winds last night, didn't move a bit. But this one during the summertime will not be needed. And, and if you wanted to, there's lots of extra board. You can position it anywhere you wanted to on the boat. It was just an extra panel 
put up here for the winter time to make up for the difference in the lack of solar. Just added the Lumar clutch here for the furling line, makes a huge difference. That Lumar 46 winches for the jib, plenty, plenty big for that. All the winches have custom covers with the slits if you want to leave the sleeves on. They also have been out here 40, 50 knot winds, never lost them. And the cockpit. All the way in the back we have Magma uh, party kettle. It's the 15 inch, it's the double insulated on the bottom, so even when it's when it's on, you can still touch it without scalding it. It's much better than the regular one. All new LED navigation running lights. Uh, we have seen these from off the boat. They are super, super bright. Garmin GPS antenna. Uh, I believe this is a Camp Pro Alpha cell phone booster antenna. Uh, the Perco flag hold, holder slash fishing rod holder back here. I'm gonna have to swap out. Um, we have a Zodiac Cadet 230, I believe it is, at the right price. This will be included. It is only a couple of months old. Also included with it will be the Tahatsu 9.9 fuel injected high torque. Uh, that is about 6,000 bucks worth of stuff. It's just sitting back there. Cockpit cushions, covers, all the, the covers. For the Garmin, it does have the typical Freeport fold down boarding ladder, transom ladder. I've got it rigged up where you can hook it halfway down to get a beautiful view as you're sitting in the cockpit to enjoy behind you without putting it in the water. We have a full enclosure. This is the only piece that's up right now. Uh, the rest of it is stowed in a custom bag. Full enclosure for the cockpit. Weather, storm, doesn't matter. It is it is a great place to be, even in the winter time. It's more like a sunroom than in most of the boats that don't even have a connector or a bimini or a dodger. I honestly don't know how they do it because we've done a lot of winter and heavy weather traveling, but we will put this whole thing up and it's super comfortable in here. And then we have a ICOM 506 with the AIS. Uh, and the command mic out here, you can control all of that. It is the, the NEMA 2000. It can also be stowed in here. So that connects the AIS to the chart plotter. You can see we're hiding from heavy weather right now. All of the AIS targets around us. We are in Little Majors right near Stanley. All touch screen. This is about a six months old. It is the Garmin 942 Pro. It does come with all the active captain. Super cool. You can go anywhere anybody has left a review on an anchorage. Simply click on the anchorage and it will bring up all the reviews, all the information. The depths are as accurate as anything we've seen. Uh, triple display, this is for the autopilot. These are both programmable, multi-screens, whatever you like to have on here. Uh, we keep depth, speed, water speed, GPS. And this is for the G-Wind wireless. My neighbor getting a little close here. Uh, compass with a cover. We don't really use the compass, but it is when you have your navigation lights on. Uh, it, uh, Ritchie power damp compass. Um, so it does have a red backlight. Don't really use it. Uh, throttle control, transmission forward reverse, and we have added the Edson removable steering wheel for the 40 inch destroyer helm. Everybody loves this little option. Super easy, drop it off. You open up the cockpit when you're not using it. When you do need it, slide it on, spin the nut back on, and, and you're ready to go. Easy to forget. Sometimes you get cranked up and ready to go and you forget to put the wheel on. We have the power inlet for the back, pockets for winch handles, tack. These instruments, the fuel, voltage, temperature, and oil have been replaced. Uh, it does have the Pathfinder Volkswagen 55 horse motor with a 17 inch three bladed Michigan wheel prop. Super, super torquey. This thing, when you put the brakes on, it comes to a screeching hold in reverse. Uh, we have your main halyard wrench up here, our main sheet. We have your main sheet winch up here, main halyard winch over here, again with new halyards. Uh, Traveler, Schaefer Traveler, um, 
these lines also are probably three to four years old. Like all of the running rigging has been replaced and part of the standing rigging. The barn door closed, it's really nice, super easy entrance. Two wood slats go down, the doors close. Also removable if for some reason you need to take them off. Put them back on. Companion way locks here, also has a slide lock here, and this will lock on that side. It will lock down uh, if you're somewhere you're not on the boat or you're somewhere you need to feel a little more secure. This boat will lock up good and tight. Down below we have a Hilburn three burner range stove. Of course it is gimbaled. Uh, easy, nice slide up top. Have to have our coffee. Easy to stow. Locks on it so when you're sailing it doesn't slide off. Super deep dry locker. This goes all the way down to the sole so it's about four feet deep from here all the way out to the hole with a shelf on it. Uh, this is, is equally as large fridge freezer. We have just upgraded the entire refrigeration system to the larger cold machine. VHF is on. Also have a digital display on this one so you can tell the temperature just above the freezer section. Adjustable. Plus it's got the smart controller on it, but this one is also a smart controller. Hand holds throughout the boat all the way down. Sliding windows, the ones I was referring to earlier, with locks with removable screens so you get somewhere you really want a good cross breeze you're sitting in a marina these are incredible to open you're cooking the heat goes out it doesn't come into the boat under here we have the 4k universal gin set uh, we currently have 469 hours on it it's super reliable we just replaced the alternator on it the only problem i've had with it oil pressure sender had leaked and the alternator had gone out both of those have been replaced as you can see back here the pilot berth we use more for tool storage um, all of the extra boat parts all of the boat related items winch handles yeah, any extra line back, uh, this is my all of that will stay with the boat there's a lot of engine specific tools that will stay with the boat uh, is one of the cool little things uh, you run down here at night you need to grab a light real quick it is touch sensitive, uh, easy, easy to find at night. Uh, Say so we have the ICOM 506 with AIS. Uh, we have the clipper battery. Oh, sorry, this is the clipper battery monitor. Uh, it'll keep up with your amp hour and a typical battery monitor. So this is the EP Ever 20 amp uh, display controller for the solar panels. We're currently, even with it cloudy the way it is, we're currently putting almost 12 amps into the batteries. Magnum Energy, we have a 2800 watt pure sign inverter charger, 125 amp charger. This is the MCA, I believe, controller. Uh, that is the upgraded controller. You can add auto start for the generator if you want. We only have this one currently connected to the to the charger, but there's plenty of upgrades to this if you like. Older JRC radar, uh, we haven't ever had to use it. The, the Garmin system it could be upgraded, but we just don't use it, but this radar does actually work. Things like uh, handheld, uh, this also has the distress, it has GPS, uh, things like this will be included with the boat. Fold down navigation station. We don't really pull it down. We don't spend much time over here. We do have a symmetrical under the berth and an asymmetrical spinnaker. All of the electrical panels you can see have been replaced except for the generator start stop. The selector switch doesn't do anything. We have the blue sea system selector switch, shore one forward, shore two aft, like I was telling you, and generator selector, uh, AC voltage. Uh, so you, you know exactly how much AC voltage you're using. Blue Sea Systems electrical panels. When I replace things on here, I really tried to only go with the best. AC panel, still room for expansion. DC panel. This panel is just to fill in the hole from where the old DC monitor stuff used to be. 
Uh, I do, this was originally, before one of the previous owners switched it, this was originally the liquor cabinet that had a fold-up door. Uh, do have the fold-up door. Still, if you decide to put that on and move these panels around somewhere else to your preference, we have lots of USB outlets and cigarette lighter type outlets throughout the boat. One of the big upgrades to this boat has been the water maker. We have a 40 GPM, sorry. We have a 40 GPH water maker dual membrane. The high pressure pump is underneath here. Uh, we have measured it and it will produce 44 gallons an hour of fresh water. So the filters for the water maker system are down here. These are check valves. Uh, filters are easy access. Pull out our little storage. And we have your 5 micron, your 20 or 20 micron, 5 micron, and then the charcoal filter with a timer so you don't have to do anything but set the timer to flush the system. You don't have to pickle it every five days. Super, super nice system. Um, all this stuff, I've got the manuals for everything. Plus, if the, the new owner is interested, I will be happy to explain how it all works. Panel for the water maker. Uh, you have your flow meter, your TDS, your total dissolved solids. Pressure for your low pressure, high pressure, low pressure pump, high pressure pump. And this is to engage. I say again, I'll be happy to explain it all or it's in the manuals. Engine and capacities on this boat, they're underneath the pilot berth is a 15 gallon diesel reserve tank. The main tank is about 65 plus we carry about 15 gallons. So you're almost 100 gallons of fuel. Dual water tanks actually underneath the sole on the sides, but beneath the settees, 50 gallons on each side, 100 gallons of water, which you don't need with a water maker. We keep them full up just to keep weight on the boat. Uh, we also have the 55 horse, uh, it's a Volkswagen 1.6 liter naturally aspirated engine. It is low in the boat, 15 gallon holding tank that is also in the keel. It's a modified, uh, modified thin keel boat. Uh, timing belt has just been replaced. The alternator has just been replaced. All of the pumps, all the water pumps, uh, the, the custom lift muffler. We have new batteries, new DECA, six volt golf cart batteries. We have six of those, brand new DECA starting battery. Super easy access to the engine. I'd say the, the raw water pump, the main water pump, everything has been replaced. Uh, prior to this trip, there's a custom lift, water lift on here. Uh, dual strainers, one for the generator, one for the main engine. Most of the lines have been replaced. Isotherm, hot water heater. Uh, just, just go on and on and on of how much has been added, upgraded to this boat. It is, it is in excellent, excellent shape, and, and it is turnkey ready. Uh, the fold down table, pretty cool. Robert Perry design. It will fold up underneath the galley and the board slides out here. We'll give you a queen berth. You take a couple of the cushions from the other side, throw them over here. You have a full queen berth in here. Very easy to convert. We leave the computer up here. Uh, so we, we kind of live over here when we're not living in the cockpit. Lots of storage, mostly spare parts, filters, tools. Under here, the Dickinson Newport fireplace it's about 5500 BTU living in Tennessee uh, with questionable electricity and the heat pump water source heat pump the water would get too cold so I did install the fireplace which is just just wonderful to have in the winter time or on the chillier nights lots of storage in the locker again we have uh, cigarette lighter style outlets here USB cigarette style outlet in the bookshelf back here a control panel for the air conditioning is easily accessible on the back side of the galley. I say the, the windows have been replaced, the piece windows have been replaced, the hatches, tons of ventilation in this boat. You will not find a better boat, uh, especially this era, uh, with, with better ventilation. It, it's at anchor, just the breeze blowing through here is incredible. The mirror makes a huge difference as far as a spacious feeling inside the boat as does the light from the windows and the hatches. You can see the port lights. We've got our, our diesel pans back here. The port lights uh, let a lot of light in, but if you don't want that light, we have insulation back here to, to block it while we're sleeping. Hanging locker here. 
uh, shelf locker back here with three drawers and um, a lot of safety stuff down here, jack lines and such. All this will be included. We have a mass descending ladder. You take the mainsail out of the track, put the halyard on it, put the slugs in. You can go to the top of the mast in a couple of minutes and no bosun's chair needed, although we do have one of those also. Under here is the air conditioning unit storage for a lot of extra electrical cables, wires, uh, lots of extra plumbing part. One of the super cool things about this boat is it does have the Pullman berth, not a V berth, another very popular Robert Perry. There are shutters that go on here. We didn't need them. We, we took them off, but we do have the shutters that go back on here. They double fold closed to where if you do have guests on here, you can isolate yourself and have a little bit more privacy as they can still use the head. Uh, storage back here behind your vanity mirror, CO2 monitor, smoke detector is, is forward, door for the head, and we've added, it used to have a little switch down here, a little hook that you'd have to bend over every time grab, the magnet has held it perfectly every time. On a step forward, we'll take a look at the V-Burt, or the, the V-Burt, thank God we don't have one of those. Pilot berth, again, hatch, port lights, shelving in the back. This is the enclosure, uh, dual fans up here. This is actually a queen size mattress that tapers down into the back. Uh, reading light forward. I'm not going to get in the head. And of course we have the head. Uh, there's a light up or a fan forward you can see that has LED lighting in it. Red and white light uh, switch over here underneath the cabinet you can see. Uh, storage in that locker down below we keep all the um, bathroom supplies and such but that's it. It's supposed to be a laundry hamper. There's the wash down pump forward behind the towel along with city filters, carbon and uh, your, your typical pleated micron filter in there as well as the anchor locker and i believe we have six or seven fenders uh, good size fenders that go with the boat that we store in there off to the left you can see where we've added a real shower rather than the pull out style that most of them use the head was just replaced four months ago with a new Jabsco twist and lock there's two breeze boosters uh, this we've decided holds about three gallons so you know if you filled it up you took a nice long shower all the pumps all the electrical uh, just about everything on here has been upgraded including a little bit larger sink a nice faucet easy hand on off uh, I just I cannot say enough about this boat as far as the comfort as far as the safety we have been out in some really really rough weather and even though we weren't confident with ourselves so much. The boat was more, more than adequate for what we have gone through. So you can see the boat at night. Every, all the lights inside have been replaced with LEDs, burning almost no amperage, and we have her well lit. We are currently in the Exumas in the Bahamas, uh, being here for about another two months, and then heading back to Central and North Florida possibly working our way north from there. If you'd like to see the boat while we're in the Bahamas, that is a possibility. If not, I say in about two months or so, we'll be back in the Florida and we'll be showing it in the States, uh, but it's first come first serve. So uh, link in the description below for an email to contact us. Uh, my name is Chris and this is Wild Hair. Thank you.